What's going on, Zanzi? We are back. It's been interesting, very interesting week today as we had just watched the Shabby Shade podcast and chill interview that just happened this past week. A lot of people had a couple of emotions um, when it comes to the Saul Penduka not being more participating on this interview. Saul Penduka was roasted by Mzanzi for his silence during the Shabby Shit podcast and chill interview. Okay, Saul trended for his silence during this interview with the rapper Shabby Shit and today he just came with an explanation why he was quiet during the interview of which I feel like it was just a bunch of bullshit, bunch of nothing on his statement. It was also discovered that the radio host did not understand the language that his guest was speaking after he explained himself twitter and social media users the weight in their thoughts one of the tweets were saying that the way Saul and ghost lady were so quiet i hope zulus took something from silence and now understand how important it is to know other languages. This is his response of which it does not sit well with me. I feel like, you know, maybe he did not want to be part of the interview. Um, you know, of which I, I was saying that if you don't want to be part of the interview, you should have stayed home. This is what he said on his tweet. He pretty much said that he understands his sutu and he can speak it a bit you know not fluent but a bit and he mentioned that growing up kokasi you are bound to understand it in fact he mentioned that he did the fm interview last week in sisutu i have to go back and listen to that interview and see how fluent and how understanding he was on the interview he also mentioned that ghosty with ghosty he mentioned that he was not sure he doubted hers is strong there are many factors that go into knowing language that you ever learned in um school he further mentioned that he wouldn't expect someone who grew up in sashiko and still based in limpopo to be fluent in Zulu. i don't know about ghosty ghosty i mean she's from pretoria okay as far as i know Almost everybody in Pretoria can speak Sepedi or can speak Sesotho. So I don't understand these, um, the Shabby Shades, um interview. The energy was really good when I was doing the energy. I felt like Ghosty was a little bit quiet. Ghost Lady was a little bit quiet. But, you know, Saul was, you know, he had an input here and there. But I was really impressed with McG. McG, you know, that's one thing about Mavenda. Venda people, they are the most intelligent people ever. They know almost every language in South Africa. And I'm not even going to lie. Venda people know at least one or two languages. While other people, like you go, the KZN people, most of them, they don't really care about other people's languages. They are so bound to their language, in my opinion, you know, even though they try, but they're so territorial when it comes to things like that. Uh, a lot of people were mentioning that she should have stayed home. Some people were saying that same thing happened to the, the McG last time when he had interview with Big Zulu. I don't know where that fits in, but this is how it went down. I feel like this whole BS. I feel like, you know, he just wasn't feeling the energy in the room. Um, in the beginning, you know, he was asking a lot of questions, but when it comes to like when we, we got deep into the uh, interview, he started being quiet. And, you know, the interview was a little bit cringy to me in the beginning because it was more about, you know, what he did. We know that he went to jail. He paid for all his sins. But I felt like it was an inappropriate to ask him if he killed someone, if he had ever killed someone and all of that. I felt like it was inappropriate, even though, you know, he, at some point he even mentioned that when are we going to get to the music part? Even though the interview was great, that interview right now is sitting at, I think it's almost at 1 million. All right. So we're going to end it right here. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like, hit the share. If you feel like doing that, I will see you guys with another video.